So reportedly, 75% of hacks come via email fraud. And a phishing email is a hacker's favorite tool to gain unauthorized access into your systems. So how do you protect yourselves? How do you protect your businesses? Well, perhaps the easiest way to do it is by setting up 2FA, and that is two-factor authentication. And I've got Rich with me here today to explain how to do this. Hello, Rich. Hello. So can we start perhaps by saying, what is 2FA? What is two-factor authentication? The second form of um, checking it's you when you're logging in somewhere, basically. Uh, everyone has a password, but passwords can be leaked. But with two-factor authentication, it means if someone gains your password, you need another form to verify it's you to get into your account. So it's an extra layer of security. Oh, great. Okay. So can you show us how to set this up then, Rich? Yeah, it's two stages. First of all, you need to turn it on for their Office 365 tenant, and then we go on to setting it up for their individual account. So I'll just show you that now. So I've gone to their Office 365 tenant by logging into portal.office.com on a web browser. Down the bottom left, there is a admin logo. It has to be an admin account. Um, without that, it won't show the admin logo at the bottom. So I'll click on admin. So on the left-hand side, I'm just gonna click show all to get all the menu options. And then it's an option called Azure Active Directory. And this takes us to their Azure Active Directory portal. So we'll just click on Azure Active Directory again on the left-hand side. So if we scroll down and choose the option Properties, and on the right-hand side, if we scroll down, there's Manage Security Defaults. So if we click that, and then here it gives us a toggle switch. So it's currently turned off. So if we just change that to Yes, so I then click Save, and then that's done. So this can take up to 24 hours to become effective. Um, that might sound a bit complicated, um, but Dean, you said you might, we might be able to help with this. Yes, we can. And if you email security at itex.co.uk, one of our team members will help. You don't need to be an itex customer to take advantage of this, and there is no charge for the service. So once that's done, Rich, what does a user then need to do? So as you can see on the left-hand side, I've got a web browser, and I've gone to portal.office.com. And on the right-hand side, I've got my phone with the Microsoft Authenticator app downloaded from the App Store. So first thing you do is just log into the web browser. My Office 365 username. I'll just put my password in. And as you can see, it prompts for more information. It can be skipped for 14 days, um, but it's now going to take us through setting up two-factor authentication. So I'll just click Next. It's now saying which account to set up. So I'll click Next. And that produces a QR code that I need to scan using the phone. So I'll just open Authenticator on the phone now. So I'll just choose Add Account. It asks me which kind of account to add. So I'm going to add Work or School. Then gives me the option of Sign In or Scan QR Code. So I'll choose Scan QR Code. It will then produce the camera. And then I'll just hover over the QR code. And that's it. It's added the account into the Authenticator app now. So once that's done, I just click Next, click Approve. And that's all approved on the web portal. So I'll click Next again. And then it asks you for the second um, option, which is a phone number that it can send you a text into the phone number. Then I'll click Next. So I've just entered the code in, and now I'll click Next. And it says the text message was verified, so it's registered successfully. So I'm just going to click Next again. And then now it's all successfully set up. And then all you need to click is Done to finish off. And does the user need to use the Microsoft Authenticator app each time they sign on? Now, once it's set up and you've got your devices registered, it will remember those devices. It's only if you log into a new device that you need to authenticate. So it's just to check that it's you when you're logging into anywhere new. Well, thank you for showing us that today, Rich. And if you found that useful, please give it a like, please comment. Uh, we'd love to hear from you.